Welcome back to the channel. In this video I am going to tell you how you can make glass dispersion shader inside Blender in very easy steps. First of all, you have to create a new scene. And delete the rest of the unwanted things. First create icosphere. Shift plus A, and icosphere. You create any shapes you want, and then create a camera from front view. Move the camera by pressing G, and choose the axis. Press the letter keys according to the axis. As I move in X axis, I need to press G and then X. Adjust the focal length of the camera. Here I am choosing 85 millimeters. that's looking better. Click on the camera, and adjust the view. Here I am choosing 1080 by 1350 you choose any resolution you want according to your need. Split the view by dragging from the corner. Here I am choosing this view as a shader editor. I am choosing the default HDRI lighting, by clicking this arrow. Select the icosphere, and create a new material. We don't need this principal BSDF. Shift plus A, and search for refraction material. And then add a glossy BSDF. Again search for mix shader node. Connect the refraction BSDF to slot number 1 of mix shader. Then connect the glossy BSDF to slot number 2 of mix shader. Search for Fresnel node and add. Add the factor of Fresnel node to the factor of mix shader. And then connect the output of mix shader to the surface of material output. Switch the render engine to the cycles because, it does not work in the EV. And switch to GPU engine. After that, Add bevel modifier to the icosphere, adjust the amount to 0.03 and segment to 5. Add the color ramp node, and add to the color of refraction node. Add the stops in color ramp and adjust, as shown. Add the colors to the stops in a color ramp and adjust. Here I am choosing RGB colors with the value of 4. Add a white noise and connect the value to the factor of color ramp. Then add a texture coordinate and mapping node. Then add a map range node and math node. Add value node and duplicate the value node. Connect the values node to the input of math node. Add the values. Add the first value to minimum of map range and math node output to the max of map range. Connect the map range output to the IOR of the refraction. Connect the first value to the IOR of Fresnel node. As you can see the dispersion is happening. But it's very low, let's fix this, connect the white noise to the value of map range. And see something happening.
change the value to get the look you want. And here how you can get the glass dispersion shader in Blender. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. In next video I'll show you how to group the nodes for easy editing.